hello friends welcome to this new lesson and first of all let me uh, cover this thing which i forgot in the previous chapter this was my introduction that my name is aryum patel a second year mbbs student at teams new delhi and if you find this course interesting or helpful then please share it with your friends so that they can also get benefited and if you have any recommendations or anything any suggestions then please post them in the review sections or if you have any questions then you can ask them in the comment sections i will try to answer each of them okay so let us discuss about ecology that what ecology is so see what does environment comprise of there are some living factors like right? some living things me you animals plants okay and there are some abiotic factors some non living things like water soil right air etc so everything which is on earth that is ecosystem okay that is ecosystem something which comprises of living things of non living things which interact with each other to to live and to help each other fight with each other everything what is done here is ecosystem right so ecology what is ecology ecology is the branch of science which deals with relationship between organisms and their physical and biological environment so the this is a little bit important thing that who coined the term ecology so the term ecology was coined in 1866 by german biologist ernst haeckel from greek oikos meaning house or dwelling and logos meaning science or study so thus ecology is the study of household of nature okay so there are some levels of organization in the ecology also okay so we know what are the levels of organization if uh, we discuss the levels of organization from the very initial level so first of all there is cell okay cellular level of organization then there comes the tissue level of body organization then comes the organ level of body organization and then finally comes the organ system level of body organization so that is the levels of organization of the body right once the body is formed an organism is formed then comes the levels of organization of ecosystem so organism is the unit of ecosystem right as the cell is a unit of uh, the organism organism is the unit of ecosystem okay so organisms are the very first level so every individual of a species is organism then some organisms who live together they form a population okay then some populations living together interacting with each other they form a community and a large unit of flora and fauna in a specific climatic zone is called as a biome okay <clears throat> so these are the levels of organization then comes environment that what is environment so environment is everything which is essential for your survival okay some of all biotic and abiotic factors that surround and influence an organism in its survival and reproduction so let us take the example of human being what is the environment of human being if i uh, talk about myself then my environment i am in the aims hostel okay and what is my environment my environment are um, some uh, my colleagues who stay here okay the guards and the other people okay the plants here are many dogs and monkeys so dogs and monkeys right many microorganisms okay many insects okay these are the biotic factors and what about abiotic factors abiotic factors are there water sunlight soil right air pollution okay these are all the factors all the things which contribute to my survival and the reproduction therefore these all comprise my environment okay this is my environment right then comes the factors which affect the environment <clears throat> so what all factor can you think of which affect the environment so the very first factor is so rotation of earth we very well know that because of rotation of earth the seasons change the environment changes okay then there are seasonal and annual variations in temperature and precipitation we very well know this see there are many i mean how does these factors affect environment and how does this change in environment affect the species the survival or the uh, reproduction so let's take the example of reproduction that how does these things change the reproduction so there are a lot of seasonal breeders we discussed this in the very first course of our 12th biology that there are many organisms who are seasonal breeders like frogs 
they breed only in the rainy season so now if there is some disturbance and the rainy season is eliminated from the weather cycle okay and in a year there is no rainy season then what will happen the frogs will not be able to reproduce and their number will uh, start declining and their population will perish right therefore the environment is responsible or helps in the reproduction of the organism and the factors which affect the environment they'll affect the reproduction they'll affect the survival of the organism okay so this is and the habitats okay there are different different habitats of different different organisms which affect their environment right now <clears throat> there comes major biomes so this is the thing which we are studying since sixth class right in sixth class we study since in, in environmental education okay then we are also studying this in science since many years and also in geography and all so what are the major biomes on earth so what are biomes let's recapitulate the de uh, definition so biome is a large unit of flora and fauna in a specific climatic zone see just there are a little, uh, some keywords that first of all it is a very large unit and it comprises not only of animals not only of plants but of all the plants and animals right a large unit of all plants and and animals in a specific climatic zone right it may be in the tropical region it may be in the subtropical region it may be in some grassland it may be in some desert okay so what all different uh, climatic zones you can think of you can name the different biomes according to them so we have Al Ar arctic and alpine tundra we have coniferous forest then we have temperate grasslands we have grass um, sorry the temperate forests then we have some grasslands we have tropical forests and deserts okay so these all are the major biomes which are found on earth you can see their photos in the you know in ncrt book which has too much blurred so if you want to have a look at them then you can look them up in uh, internet there are many okay so this was a very basic introduction to ecology and the environment we will be discussing about this in the coming four courses so it is a very major topic a uh, big topic so in this what is important is the term ecology was coined was Ernst Haeckel okay see there are a lot of times the questions asked from ecology part are a little bit unconventional right that uh, once the name of author of a book was asked in AIPMT that uh, who was the author, who is the author of the book Silent Spring that was from ecology sometimes it is asked that who coined which term so just remember these things okay because we have though these are not important for your uh, concept building or anything but they're important for your examination okay so let's be a little bit professional and memorize these terms okay so i'll uh, in introduce you to different, different terms in the coming le lessons so please write them down somewhere so that you can revise them again and again so from this lesson this is the term okay so that's it Thank you.